It's a sure sign that the cooler temperatures of the fall will be here before you know it. The local high school fields are busy with the sights and sounds of football. Which of our local teams will make a run to Cookville? And who are the area stars destined for the college ranks? Join us for the East Tennessee Prep Preview, presented by Better Mattress. Hi there, everybody. I'm Mark Nagy, and our long wait is almost over. High school football is nearly back, which means that our Friday nights are going to be very busy all the way up until December. So let's not waste any time with our preview and start in Blount County with the perennial powerhouse in Class 6A, the Maryville Rebels. They feature a player that is already committed to the University of Tennessee. Maryville's T. Hodge is one of the top 20 high school recruits in Tennessee for the class of 2020 and is considered to be the best running back in the state. But before he heads to the college game, Hodge has some things to work on. I want to be more of a vocal leader this year. I feel like being more of a vocal leader, teaching the young guys, you know, the game plan and stuff like that, just setting the standard and stuff like that, I feel like that'd be good. Hodge is listed at six foot one and 215 pounds. He runs a sub 4540. He has the talent and work ethic to make an impact at the next level. I think T's desire to be successful probably stands out amongst his peers. He, he has a drive in him like, uh, unlike any other that I've seen, um, especially from a lot of 17 year old kids. You know, he, he's one of those guys that you got to drive him out of the weight room, you got to make him go home. You know, he's wanting to get in extra work and he passes the eye test. And, but again, a lot of that's because he's worked his rear end off to get where he's at. Through the first 13 games of the 2018 season, Hodge rushed for over 800 yards and 19 touchdowns. But a broken leg suffered in the state quarterfinals meant he couldn't play in Maryville's state semifinal loss at Oakland. Watching the Rebels fall short was tough for Hodge to take. He wants to make the most out of his senior season with one last trip to Cookville. You know, all I wanted to do was help my team win. So, you know, for me to not be able to be there and help my team, you know, it was really tough. Um, obviously, I want to win state. He's played in a, in, a, in a state championship game before, and I don't think there's any question he'd like to play in another one. And so, you know, T's a great lead by example type guy. I think our kids follow his lead. And so we're really excited about the season that he, he has the potential of having this year. Let's head back to Knox County. The Beard and Bulldogs were one of the best teams in the area last season, yet the tiebreaker gods were unkind. The Bulldogs finished in a three-way tie for second place in Region 1-6A, yet were seeded fourth. They lost a mostly defensive battle in the first round against Maryville in a game that easily could have been a state quarterfinal. But Bearden isn't dwelling on the past. We've made strides each year that uh, I've, I've been able to be the head coach here. Uh, last year was the first year that I really felt like that Bearden was playing at the level that I felt like it should be. You know, we competed for a region championship last year. We fell short. Uh, that obviously was not our goal. We wanted to win it and host a first round playoff game here. Uh, however, we posted an eight win regular season. And I think at a school like Bearden that, that that's that should be the standard each year is, you know, that seven, eight, nine wins and then then a playoff push. Bearden has been to the postseason the past few years, but they are still looking for that breakthrough victory. Bulldogs, though, have a big advantage at the quarterback position as Colin Ironside returns for his senior season, his fourth as the Bulldogs starter. He's about 190, 195 pounds and had a 6'2", almost 6'3", frame. Uh, he, looks, uh, he looks the part of a football player, without the doubt. So when you get a kid who's uh, not only a hard worker, who's got that, the physical tools to do it, but then you put a head on his shoulders like Colin has, you've got a, a very strong leader on your offensive unit. Go! The Bulldogs' biggest rivals are only a few miles to the west. The Farragut Admirals won the state title while still in Class 5A back in 2016 and got to the state quarterfinals last year. This is a consistent playoff program. But to get back to the postseason in 2019, some of those younger players will have to prove they're all ready for those extra responsibilities. So we got seven kids competing at running back right now where we had two, two pretty solid ones count with Kyle Carter and Isaiah Gibbs. So if there's seven guys got a chance to step up and we're counting on some of those guys to do that. At quarterback, Gavin Wilkinson returns for his senior season and should get all the important snaps. Last season, he shared time with Jake Evans, who has since graduated. This will be Wilkinson's third year as a starter. 
He's very accurate, very accurate thrower. Could throw the deep ball, touch on the short and intermediate routes. Uh, you know, he's got a great arm, and uh, we just feel like that that experience ought to go good for us this year. Maryville is in Region 2 and will play Farragut and Bearden in out-of-conference games during the regular season. Region 1 6A will once again be a tough one, with Signs Hill, Dobbins Bennett, Morristown West, and Jefferson County each fighting for a spot in the top four. Hardin Valley has gone through a coaching change this offseason after a resignation back in May of the only head coach they've ever had, Wes Jones. Okay, we are just getting started on the big show. Coming up, we'll head to the private school ranks, including a major move for an absolutely loaded Knoxville Catholic team. That's when the East Tennessee Prep Preview continues. That game, uh, in my mind, defines everything that is high school football, the pageantry, the atmosphere, uh, the energy, the communities coming together. And for us to only be separated by six miles, so most of our kids grow up together, uh, you know, they, after the game, a lot of them are hugging and, and giving each other high fives on both sides of the ball. But there's a lot of bragging rights uh, that, that go into that. So um, for us to be going into a, a game like that, competing for a region title is the way I feel like that game should be each year. Hey, it's Eric Ainge for Better Mattress. Listen, being at the top of your game, peak performance and recovery is important for everybody, not just the players. And with my Better Mattress, I truly am sleeping better. Handcrafted right here in East Tennessee. Not to mention it came with a 20 year warranty. What could possibly beat that? If you want to sleep better, do what I do. Go see my friends at Better Mattress. B-E-D-R mattress.com. It's where good night just got better. Just keep going. It's like life. It gets hard, but you just keep going. Since Eccles West started selling Chevrolets in East Tennessee, much has changed. But the West family tradition remains the same. We honor our rich history and our Smoky Mountain heritage. We strive to meet every customer's needs and understand our role in the community. We invite you to come see what that means to you, our customer, at the foot of the Smokies since 1931. West Chevrolet, where we treat every customer like a part of the family. You deserve to have more fun. Games and Things, the ultimate man cave store, can make it happen. We have everything you want to make your man cave the place to be. From pool tables, shuffleboard, poker tables, and video arcade games, to air hockey, foosball, skee ball, and darts. And don't forget, we also have the largest selection of home theater seating in the area. Located at the corner of Kingston Pike and Lovell Road, and online at OurGameRoom.com. Cause life should be fun, fun, fun. And welcome back. High school football is certainly changing here in East Tennessee. Knoxville Catholic makes the move from Division I to Division II in Class 3A. That means regional matchups against Baylor, Brentwood Academy, and Ensworth, among others. Head coach Steve Matthews is in his seventh year running the Irish program. He has two state championships on his resume, but also knows that the competition is about to step up a notch. I feel like our first 22 are about as good as anybody, but after that you worry about injuries, you worry about the kicking game, how many, how many are downs, so everybody has to play each game. So, so the, the depth of our team is definitely uh, an issue that we need to make sure we're building on. It's a good thing the Irish have some star power on their roster. Knoxville Catholic features at least four players that will be on Division I rosters next season. Offensive lineman Brian Tucker, an Ensworth transfer in defensive end Tyler Barron. Offensive lineman Cooper Mays, who happens to be the son of former Vol Kevin Mays and current Georgia Bulldog Cade. Plus a transfer from Franklin, receiver Chancellor Bright. Out of those four, Brian Tucker made his decision known the earliest. Tucker had offers from every big name school you can think of, including Tennessee and Alabama. But last March decided to commit to the defending national champions from Clemson. 
Clemson's a terrific school, man. I mean, besides the football and stuff, you know, they win. Um, they treat you uh, about many things in life in general coming up in the next four to six years. And, you know, I wanted to learn about life. You know, Coach Sweeney, he preaches that every day about life, man. Get yourself a career and, you know, just go out there and have good kids later, have a family and be a good father for your family. And uh, I respect that decision so much. And the football-wise, man, it's just they're Clemson, man. I mean, they win. I came in to be a part of the good offensive line down there, man. So that's a look at Knoxville's Division II Class 3A entry. What about Division II Class 2A? Last year, three of those teams made it to the postseason. This year, they're hoping for some deeper runs in November. Drive, 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 hands, score. That's it, here we go, here we go. Let's start off on Oak Ridge Highway with the Grace Christian Academy Rams. Russie Bradley is in his third year with the program, but it will be his first season without the recently graduated Luke Kirby. So that quarterback competition is going to be one to watch. Bradley's up-tempo spread offense puts even more responsibility on the guy taking snaps. It's going to be very important. I mean, I'm hoping we can, number one, run the ball a little more so that we don't have to put so much on our quarterback. I thought we had to put a lot on our quarterback last year. So we're going to be more experienced up front, which will help our run game. But the quarterback competition is going to be important. Uh, and it's not just about making great throws and different things. It's about running the offense and, and, and just handling the offense and just command with the offense and leading the team. One of the things that we had to learn how to do last year uh, was fight through adversity. And uh, I think that's something that obviously going five and six, things didn't go our way last year and we had to fight through some adversity and so that was good for us and uh, that's that's part of part of life you know is having to fight through things not going your way and persevere and we we learned how to do that last year I think that's going to help us for the future you're going to take that arm and I want you to overdo it now overdo it Please. over on Dutchtown Road David Meskey will be on the sideline for his 35th season as head coach of the Webb Spartans Webb has won seven state championships during his tenure, and they are a perennial playoff team. And this year should be no different. I think we got a lot of great athletes, and we got some increasing size on the team. So I think we're ready to get out and work this year and just see what we have. I think it's important to know that a football game is not over until it's really over. So we have the experience to know that we just got to keep fighting throughout the whole game. Being Webb, I think we're a technique-oriented team. So I feel like our team being older, we're really going to be a lot crisper in those areas. I feel like we won't really have any off weeks, so that's good for character. Here we go. On the other side of Dutchtown Road, the Christian Academy of Knoxville Warriors continue to rebuild. The Warriors struggled to a 3-8 and record and a first-round playoff exit one year ago. But head coach Travis Mozingo, now in his fourth year running the program, is optimistic about the season ahead and feels that his team is heading in the right direction. We've got a, a good, good, hard-working group of guys. We've got some young talent. Uh, the good thing is about young talent is they don't, they don't necessarily know that they're young talent. And the bad thing about young talent is they don't know that they're young talent. So it's just that kind of uh, that that kind of enigma, I guess you could say, of trying to trying to get that youth that's uh, that's very uh, has a good skill set, but trying to get them focused and zeroed in. And uh, I really do like our guys. I think they're probably one of the hardest working groups I've been around. And uh, that's that's it's always fun to coach those type of kids. Division 2 Class 2A once again looks to be a division with Chattanooga Notre Dame at the top of the heap, but don't count out those Knoxville schools. CAK, Grace Christian, and Webb School have coaching staffs that have proven they can get the most out of their players. Okay, coming up next we head back to the public school ranks in Class 5A. This, of course, is a classification with all sorts of East Tennessee success stories. Can the Central Bobcats go back to back and bring another state championship back to North Knoxville? We'll talk about that when the East Tennessee Prep Preview continues. Well, he's a great kid, first of all. He works extremely hard. Has really continued to improve every single year. And, uh, you know, he's, he's big. Obviously, that's a big part of it. But uh, just keeps improving. And we're, we're excited about him and his future. Sometimes truth truly is stranger than fiction. Decade of Dysfunction, the road to Tennessee's crazy coaching search. On sale at Amazon.com. Now with an updated chapter detailing the Vols 2018 season. You're busy, you're always on the go, but are you making time for you? The Y is dedicated to helping you stay active, live better, and find the best possible version of you. 
From basketball to functional training space, indoor pools and yoga studios, the best of Knoxville is right in your backyard. And with group classes and personal trainers that will challenge and encourage you, the Y is something for everyone. Join the Y and get unlimited access to all five locations, from the heart of downtown Knoxville to Farragut and Halls, all with no contracts. The Y, for a better us. Otis Termite and Pest Control has been serving East Tennessee for 40 years. They get the job done right the first time, guaranteed. Whether you need service for your home, your business, or for new construction, Otis Termite and Pest Control should be your first call. Otis Termite and Pest Control, a locally owned and operated business. Give them a call at 690-1662 or check out their website at otispestcontrol.net. That's Otis Termite and Pest Control. You deserve to have more fun. Games and Things, the ultimate man cave store, can make it happen. We have everything you want to make your man cave the place to be. From pool tables, shuffleboard, poker tables, and video arcade games, to air hockey, foosball, skee-ball, and darts. And don't forget, we also have the largest selection of home theater seating in the area. Located at the corner of Kingston Pike and Lovell Road, and online at OurGameRoom.com. Cause life should be fun, fun, fun. Tennessee Trash Service is a locally owned and operated company serving East Tennessee's residential, commercial, and industrial waste needs, offering prompt, reliable service to their customers. For a free estimate, give them a call at 966-0086. Tennessee Trash Service. Football here is just a small part of the bigger mission of the school, um, and that's to lead, build, and equip uh, young men and young women to go out and, and, and be the Christian people that, that uh, God calls them to be. And uh, it's huge here. You know, we, we want to focus on loving God, loving each other, and giving God our best every single day. And uh, I'm just ecstatic with the culture that these guys um, are starting to understand that we want here. They understand what that truly means. And welcome back. In four of the past five years, the Class 5A Gold Ball has made its way to Knoxville. Farragut, West, and Catholic each won that trophy, and in 2018, it was Central's turn. We checked in with the Bobcats to find out what they have planned for an encore in 2019. Quarterback, give them a chance. You get a chance, 50-50 ball, somebody's gotta win. Somebody's gotta win. These kids understand last year was last year, 2018 season, 2019 brings some new challenges. Uh, they're up for the challenge. They've been working really hard in the classroom, really hard uh, in the weight room, and we're just looking forward to getting back out here and getting better. So you see myself and the kids and the coaches, you know, always high-fiving, hugging on the guys. You know, we'll get on them, but always bring them up higher um, and just really demanding them to be disciplined and give the best attitude every day they can because we know being out here is a blessing every day. There you go. Get your hey. Get it up. Get up in here more. Don't get here. Get up in here. Okay. You get up in here. You take him where you want him to go. Have some holes to fill for sure. That's the beauty of high school football. Looking forward to it, and always just great to be around kids. The Battle of Black Oak Ridge is always hotly contested. Will Halls be up to the challenge? They welcome a familiar face in that new place as Scott Cummings makes his return to East Tennessee after four seasons at Cleveland. Cummings had previously been the coach at Knoxville West for 13 seasons and is happy to be back in Knoxville. Cummings hopes to build depth and to bring some stability to the Red Devils. He's their third coach in as many seasons. I just believe in this community and I know that this community wants football back to be, you know, a powerhouse again and uh, and I believe that there's resources in this community to get a lot of stuff done and to start saving kids and keeping them all here. We've got a lot of good kids, first of all. we got good kids that, that want to work, um, that'll do what you ask them to do. Um, we're asking them to totally change everything about themselves, offensively and defensively, uh, from a schematic standpoint. Um, and that's a, that's a tough learning curve there. We definitely believe that the kids are invested. The South Doyle Cherokees have come a long way since Clark Duncan added head coach to his athletics director duties 10 years ago. November football is now a common occurrence, but it's not something Duncan takes for granted. It's all about relationships, you know, that we have a great relationship amongst our coaching staff, our players, players to coaches, you know, that's that's the number one thing. And once you gain that trust and belief in each other and believe what you're doing and, uh, and you work hard, then uh, great things can happen. 
The Cherokees bring back a lot of talent this year, including four-star athlete Elijah Young. This past spring, he split time with football and the track team. Quarterback Mason Brang is back for his senior season and his third as a starter. Very athletic, very knowledgeable, uh, great student of the game, and so he, he brings a lot to us to be able to be multiple offensively, and it's, uh, you know, we got some great people around him, uh, big and strong up front, so it's exciting. Off of Tazewell Pike, it is year two of the Brad Turner era at Gibbs. The Eagles will continue to do what they have done for years, run the football early and often, and make you stop them. The Eagles hoping to get back to the playoffs once again. We take a lot of pride in running the football. When you run the ball, the clock runs, and that's your best defense sometimes. As well as it's easy for our, to get our guys to buy into to, to playing tough and smash mouth football. And so it's a selling point for us, and, and we've been doing it for a while, so it's very important to, you know, to what we do. You know, we like to mix it up, but if we, obviously if we can run the ball, we're going to run it. You know, replacing the guys up front is always hard, but we've tried to sell that in the weight room this winter uh, to where, you know, get bigger, faster, and stronger and, and compete. This will once again be one of the most competitive regions in the state. Just getting into the top four can be quite the challenge. Carter, Sevier County, and Seymour each hoping to jump into that playoff mix this season. And we certainly have forgot about the team that plays on this field, the six-time state champion Fulton Falcons, the winners of Region 3 one year ago. First order of business for head coach Rob Black, find a replacement for a four-year starter at quarterback Xavier Malone. Overall, the Falcons only return a few starters on each side of the field. We graduated a lot of uh, three and four year starters, so got a lot of shoes to fill. You know, and the great thing about that is, is now that creates competition among a, bu a bunch of young guys and some talented young guys. So a uh, little bit green as far as experience goes, but I think we got some guys that are uh, working towards filling those holes. Our ultimate goal and everybody that's practicing right now is, is wanting to win a state championship, but there's so much other going on and so much other things that are important as far as you know helping raise these kids and turn them into men so uh, we'll shoot for that state championship but in the end there's other ways to be successful as well. The Powell Panthers appeared destined for a trip to the postseason last year starting at six and one but the TSSAA ruled that they used an ineligible player. For head coach Matt Lowe and his team, it was a severe blow for what the school said was incorrect documentation. Still, it was something that he and his team have learned from, as those forfeits kept them out of the playoffs. We got to watch what was arguably the, you know, the worst possible scenario or, or, or you know, adversity that hit this program, and we got to watch a bunch of kids get us all fired up and excited and how they responded. They went out there, they, they went back to work, and they finished off what was an incredible season last year and doing everything they can. They've also left uh, you know, that success or that, that beginning to a successful program you know, in, in this year's roster, and I certainly think this year's roster is going to carry over everything that happened last year into this season. And, and they know that they're not only playing for themselves, but they're playing a little bit for that group that, that had something, uh, you know, kind of fall apart on them late in the year last year. Like Region 2 5A, Region 3 5A is an absolute beast. Look for Oak Ridge to be the favorites to win that title, but Powell certainly has a chip on their shoulder after the way last season ended up. Okay, we're heading to the fourth quarter of our program. Will the Alcoa Tornadoes once again rule the roost in Class 3A? We'll discuss that when the East Tennessee Prep Preview continues. A lot of players coming back and with a lot of experience, uh, very athletic. Um, you know, and we're just uh, excited about the, the uh, camaraderie that they've had in the weight room and the, 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 uh, the offseason that we've had. We've really grown a lot. So we're really excited about getting this thing started. It's just hard work, you know, and, and then believe in gaining that trust and relationship. It's all about relationships, you know. That we have a great relationship amongst our coaching staff, our players, players to coaches. You know, that's, that's the number one thing. And once you gain that trust and belief in each other and believe what you're doing and, uh, and you work hard, then uh, great things can happen. Hey, it's Eric Ainge for Better Mattress. Listen, being at the top of your game, peak performance and recovery is important for everybody, not just the players. And with my Better Mattress, I truly am sleeping better. Handcrafted right here in East Tennessee. Not to mention it came with a 20 year warranty. What could possibly beat that? If you want to sleep better, 
do what I do, go see my friends at Better Mattress. B-E-D-R mattress.com. It's where good night just got better. Just keep going. It's like life. It gets hard, but you just keep going. Otis Termite and Pest Control has been serving East Tennessee for 40 years. They get the job done right the first time, guaranteed. Whether you need service for your home, your business, or for new construction, Otis Termite and Pest Control should be your first call. Otis Termite and Pest Control, a locally owned and operated business. Give them a call at 690-1662 or check out their website at otispestcontrol.net. That's Otis Termite and Pest Control. Since Eccles West started selling Chevrolets in East Tennessee, much has changed, but the West family tradition remains the same. We honor our rich history and our Smoky Mountain heritage we strive to meet every customer's needs and understand our role in the community. We invite you to come see what that means to you, our customer, at the foot of the Smokies since 1931. West Chevrolet, where we treat every customer like a part of the family. Tennessee Trash Service is a locally owned and operated company serving East Tennessee's residential, commercial, and industrial waste needs, offering prompt, reliable service to their customers. For a free estimate, give them a call at 966-0086. Tennessee Trash Service. You and your friends are focused on an active, healthy lifestyle, but how do you make the time? Join the Y and plan to meet your crew for spin, yoga, basketball, racquetball, swimming, lifting, or running at one of our five Knoxville locations. The Y, for a better us. And welcome back. The Alcoa Tornadoes have been on quite a roll, winning four straight state championships and 12 since 2004. Head coach Gary Rankin wants to keep that run going this season. Expectations are always high around here in our football program and uh, you know we, we want to make another run at the state championship and we think we've got some good kids coming back and if we can stay lucky and stay healthy and work hard and kids buy in like they always do we, we hope we can get there. Uh, we've got three, six, uh, three 6A schools on there. We opened up one of the best teams in the state in Murfreesboro and Blackman High School. And uh, we, of course, we got Maryville, Dobbins, Bennett, and uh, we got some good teams on there, especially early. Elsewhere in East Tennessee, can Greenville achieve a three-peat? Will Greenback be ready to go in Class 1A? Be sure to check out our friends at Five Star Preps for even more high school content. Jesse Smithy has you covered not only for football, but all the high school sports action all year round. FiveStarPreps.com. Be sure to give that website a look. Well, that's all the time we have for our show. Thank you very much for sticking around with us for the past 30 minutes. I'm Mark Nagy, and we'll see you on the gridiron. You're busy, you're stressed, you're always on the go. Join the Y and find a yoga community dedicated to helping you unwind, decompress, and breathe. Because a better you makes a better us. The Y offers five locations, all with no contracts. The Y, for a better us. Sometimes truth truly is stranger than fiction. Decade of Dysfunction, the road to Tennessee's crazy coaching search. On sale at Amazon.com. Now with an updated chapter. Detailing the Vols 2018 season. Hey, it's Eric Ainge for Better Mattress. Listen, being at the top of your game, peak performance and recovery is important for everybody, not just the players. And with my Better Mattress, I truly am sleeping better. Handcrafted right here in East Tennessee. Not to mention it came with a 20 year warranty. What could possibly beat that? If you wanna sleep better, do what I do. Go see my friends at Better Mattress. B-E-D-R mattress.com. It's where good night just got better.